Hey, this is Kate Bullock and another episode of Walk the Block and this is a special one. We're down here at the Evil Corporation Brewery. <laughs> I am here with my good friend, an amazing business entrepreneur. Her name is Victoria Givlin and she's with the Wicked Blue Owl Media. They are helping businesses get noticed. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's going to be a blast. I'm super excited. Thank you for having me because, well, heh, we co-host We have this each event. other. We yeah. have each other. Yeah. But we co co-host these events with YYC Calgary Business mm -hmm. and a little shout out to you guys because you're hosts on that oh platform God, amazing and yeah. your show's called the local connection the local connection helping businesses get featured and that's exactly what Wicked Blue Owl Media does and what Victoria does so let's go inside have some beer yeah yeah hot let's go oh hot sauce and some hot sauce there's a secret Shh, let's go Hey, I'm back here with Brooke, who works at the Evo Corporation Brewery, and she's going to tell us a little bit about their unique brewing style. Yeah, so as we can see, um, as most breweries have their four different stages of brewing in four different tanks, we actually do it all in the one. So we, whenever we're going, going to the boil phase, we roll these over, they're all on wheelies, and we roll it over here, and then we hook it up to that machine right over there, and that machine will keep it at the controlled temperature the entire time for our brewers throughout the whole brewing cycle, which takes about a day. Um, when we roll them over, we put the hops and the grains into this big strainer-like system. We haul it on up, drop it in, we do all the boiling, we do all the mashing, then we take it out for the lunar phase, and then we bring it back over here, and then we actually leave it in the exact same tanks to ferment. So that is something a little bit different that we do here at Evil Corp. It allows us to keep it condensed and small, and we can have six different batches going at one time, as opposed to if we had a regular system, we probably would only have two beers going at a time, maybe one. But since we have a small space, we like to keep it condensed. I like that. So. You have something else that's unique over here you were telling me about, and it is this, is it this white machine here? It is that white machine way back there. It's little, it's hiding behind our um, cape canning and labeling system, which we also do here by ourselves. Um, but this right back here is our nitrogen machine. So we had six nitro taps here at Evil Corp, which is quite special. Most places can only have one. Um, and the reason we have six nitro taps is because we make our own nitrogen. We pull it right out of the air ourselves because we just wanted, we wanted to have six nitro beers because nitro beers are creamy, they're smooth, and um, everyone enjoys them. So we wanted to just make our own nitrogen. So that is what we have over here. That sets us apart from the rest, for sure. So Brooke, what's your favorite beer? Uh, my favorite beer would definitely be our either our APR, which is a perfect rose. It's a rose brute IPA. I love that it's sweet and that it finishes off like an IPA. Or, yeah. Probably our toe of the lime. It's limey, it's fresh, it's summery. It's easy for all drinkers. I love that. And you also have cider, so you're not just beer, right? Yeah, so we actually get our cider from Sunnyside. We collab with Sunnyside for that. Um, and that is where we get all of our cider from. I love that. I love a good collab. And speaking of which, there was another collab you're doing. You have like a spicy beer? Yeah, so we actually have a Carolina Reaper beer. We only sell it in one ounce shots because it is quite spicy. We use real Carolinas in it. Um, however, it really gets the good flavor of the pepper of the Carolina and it finishes off with the spice. And we like to say it's the hottest beer in the world. Hottest beer in the world right here in Calgary at the Evil Corporation Brewery. Have you tried it? Oh, I have tried it and it is spicy. Let me tell you, okay. <laughs> it will knock your socks off. Just like that hot sauce. <laughs> just like the Knox hot sauce we tried earlier. So good, amazing. Well, thank you so much for having me down here and I look forward to trying some beer. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Okay, tell me what we've got here. So right here we have in order, we have toe the lime, which is our lime goza. We have our glass ceiling, which is our German pilsner. We have our nepotism, which is a New England IPA. Uh, and then we have our APR, which is a rose brute IPA. All of these beers are a little bit special, which is why I picked them for you. They're all quite different and um, I, I love them all personally, so that's why I picked them. And they're like a rainbow. They're like a rainbow. I <laughs> love it. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be, okay, so toe the lime. Toe the lime. Our lime goza. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Oh, that's limey. Yeah. Oh, it's oh limey. I could get behind this. Yes. So this one is perfect. It's you're out in the sun on a summer day, and you're on the patio, and you want something light and refreshing, and it kind of tastes like lemonade, but you're also drinking a beer. It is probably one of my favorites, to be honest with you, and I think it's her new favorite. <laughs> Love that. I love yes. Lime. Yes. Lime. Oh. Quite good. So good. Okay. This is our glass ceiling. Glass ceiling. Glass ceiling. So this is actually named after one of our co-founders. Her name is Mel, and she has broken the glass ceiling within her own corporate world. So we decided to name a beer after her. This is our German Pilsner. So it's light. It's crisp. It's refreshing, um, and it goes down easy. It's it, perfect. I was just gonna say that it's super light. Yeah. Right? It goes really down so easy. It's perfect if you want a beer, but you don't want to be like hidden the face with those hops. This is the one for you. Yeah. And it is like it reminds me of glass. Like it's so clear yeah. and the clear finish. Absolutely. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, hit me. What's this? So this is our New England IPA. So it's called Nepotism. Um, and this one is have mango forward and then it finishes off like an IPA. Um, I personally love it because I find that it has enough sweetness and it's beautifully balanced, as we can see. Yeah, like, okay, I don't usually like an IPA, and <laughs> holy cow, it is balanced, it's and I love that fruit kick. Yes, so that fruit kick at the front makes you think that you're not drinking an IPA, um, but it's definitely finishing like one, and that aftertaste is probably my favorite part. Yes. Smooth, super smooth. Drink these all day long. <laughs> all right, hit us the rose. So this is our rose brute IPA. So it's another IPA. We actually have this one on tap at Craft right now um, for limited time because we did a very limited production of this one. Um, the thing I really love about this is we use hibiscus for the color, which is why it's bright pink. <laughs> um, and it's another one of those IPAs that you're just like, wow. Uh, yeah. More hoppy than this one. More hoppy. I love that hibiscus like kick, right? Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. And it's bright pink, so it's beautiful to look at. <laughs> love it. That is really good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can decide, <laughs> but I never thought that an IPA would be in one of my tops, but the Toe the line. Toe the line. I have a lot. Like, I love a good Tom <laughs> Collins, right? Like, yes. I'm a gin girl. Yes. This. This is beer I could like, yeah. Yeah, and I love summer patio and it's fizzy almost. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, so good. So good. Oh my goodness. I am really amazed. Thank you for sharing of your beer course. with me. It was just amazing. And thank you for hosting us at YYC Calgary Business here. And uh, we are going to come back 100%. This has been amazing. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you so much.